APIS is short for Angle Resolved Photoemission Spectroscopy. It builds upon the primitive photoemission spectroscopy, which we have explained in a previous video. In a nutshell, photoemission spectroscopy measures the density of states in a material. Photons of a specific energy are absorbed by a bound electron, which is subsequently emitted as a photoelectron. Measuring the intensity over the kinetic energy yields the desired spectrum. In angle-resolved photoemission spectroscopy, we go one step further and analyze the momentum dependency of the occupied electronic states. Let's see how this is done. Suppose we shoot photons onto a surface and measure the angle under which the electron is emitted. There are two directions to consider. The angle with respect to the surface normal, theta, and the angle outside of the reflection plane, which is called azimuthal angle, phi. We recall Snell's law, which describes refraction. FYI, there is a video. Applied to this situation, it states that the momentum of the electron parallel to the surface after emission is the same as inside the material. Electromagnetic lenses help to measure the momentum of the emitted electron and naturally the kinetic energy. Subsequently, the component parallel to the surface is extracted by multiplying with the sine of theta. This is the actual physical absolute value of the momentum inside the material which is parallel to the surface. The parallel plane is spanned by two directions, let's say x and y. The azimuthal angle is used to distribute the absolute value into vector components. In recap, with the simple combination of photoemission and refraction, we obtained the following information the kinetic energy and the vectorial momentum of the electron inside the material. This grants direct access to the effective energy dispersion of any material prone to photoemission. The occupied density of states at a specific momentum is referred to as momentum-dependent spectral function of the filled states. A different experimental setup called inverse photoemission spectroscopy is necessary to detect unoccupied states. In practice, the measured intensity at a specific angle is plotted as a function of the negative binding energy, rather than the kinetic energy. In a sense, the spectral function is the generalization of the density of states. The density of states is a result of the underlying lattice geometry, including the position, orientation and overlap of the atomic orbitals. The term spectral function was originally used in the context of experimental measurements. Now, very often it is not enough to consider lattice structure to explain the experimental results. It is necessary to include correlation effects due to electron-electron interactions or spin-orbit coupling. This effectively changes the density of states in a realistic material. In the theoretical discussion, the effective electronic density of states is referred to as spectral function. This is pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.